This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Wendy Hillier back in the studio with us. Welcome back. Well, thank you very much for having me, Kathy. It's great to be here with you. We are here to talk about your sewing club. Let's talk a little bit about the history of your sewing club, oh, how it got started. It's got history for sure. So we basically have been two years trying to build toward getting into the public schools and teaching young people how to sew. So fortunately at Duncan Jay School or School, Principal Nancy Holman was over the moon to hear about what we were up to and through a mutual friend, Jamie uh, Schooler, we were able to get together and just, I was able to tell her what my hope was and what I wanted to see happen, which was see kids do some sewing, get together in a little, create a little community of sewers within the community and then be able to create something that we could share back into our communities that we live in. And she was immediately on board and has been so supportive. And so we are officially up and running. Uh, we are three weeks in. We are actually four weeks in, but we've had some illnesses over the last couple of weeks or last week. So we were, we were out for that week. But this week, we're back again today. We usually get together on Tuesdays around almost, I guess, quarter to two. And then we run till almost 2.30 and the girls do a lot of sewing in that time and uh, they're learning a lot and they're a lot of fun and it's great to see them get at it. I mean sewing is such a, a skill that uh, it's lacking now like we were talking some people don't even know how to sew a button on or, or how to hem a pair of pants and and you've got them right sitting at a sewing machine. Yeah I've been uh, I've had a lot of fun just kind of picking up sewing in the last few years myself and uh, the Lanark County uh, Quilt Guild has been very supportive of our program. Um, there's all of the ladies, with the exception of one that's volunteering with us right now, are all part of that quilt guild. So it's kind of nice to have them come out and help out. They're experienced sewers. Um, and then you have someone like myself who's very inexperienced, but very willing to help out and see what happens with these kids. So um, it's been great, but we are in need of more volunteers, of course. Um, my vision of having this sewing club is limited right now to one school, but I would certainly see the potential or would like to see um, it happen in all of the schools. There's lots of children who would love to learn how to sew. And um, just thinking of uh, a project that we hope to be able to contribute to, uh, if not this year, definitely next year, is um, I think Don Quinn has uh, placemats for seniors or stockings for seniors mm -hmm. that we want to be able to help in those things so if people are out there and they hear about what we're doing in terms of sewing how we may be able to you know create a project within our project to help their project that's what we want absolutely that's the whole, yeah, the whole uh, thing because wouldn't that be wonderful <clears throat> what you're working on is helping another community exactly uh, partner yeah uh, so you're in need of volunteers you must be volunteers. in need of sewing machines and fabric as well um yes now with sewing machines um we're we're kind of getting a little bit picky on our sewing machines because we've we've run into some issues with some of the older machines mm and having six different machines with six different volunteers, or maybe you only have two volunteers that day, trying to run from machine to machine. So uh, recently we have a very healthy donation where someone has actually donated us six sewing machines. Wow. All the same. And I'm over the moon about it. Um, so I haven't even told the girls yet today. I just found out they're hopefully coming in this week. So we'll be able to um, have those six solid newer machines that will be week after week after week and you know we'll just keep using those but um, one of the things that we would like to also see is some of the older machines are still really good machines and they might be machines that we could give away to the children if if they so you know want to take up sewing more consistently uh, volunteers 100 percent cotton material thread those types of things that we need to be able to create the project pieces um, those are the things that we, we really need. So if there are people out there who want to either volunteer or can help with those needs, they can reach out to me anytime, 613-285-4476. Or you can um, drop off a donation to the uh, 23 Beckwith Street where the Century 21 office is. And um, we, we'll take it from there. Um, yeah. Oh, I hear you about the sewing machines. My goodness, what they've done, you know. Oh. I, I want a sewing machine that'll sew a straight line, a zigzag, and put a buttonhole on. Yeah. That's all I need. 
Yeah. Some of them, oh my goodness, they'll embroider your name into it and you have to program it. I, I can feel your pain there because some <laughs> of them it's like, oh my goodness, I have to take a course. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For what you're seeing in front of you and it's all I want to do is thread this. Yeah, so time. Rosalie at uh, the Soul Crafty store oh, in Rideau yes. Ferry, mm -hmm. uh, she's been really helpful in, you know, she did all the research on machines and what would be uh, user friendly for kids the age that we're, we're sewing with. And so she was very helpful for that. So anyway, we've, oh. we've, we've got machines, which is amazing. Oh, that, amazing, that is amazing. six machines. Six. six. Well, somebody we have else six kids seen. right now. Yeah, so, and these cool. machines will be machines that if I have eight children, you know, in uh, another year, if we wanted to build on these machines, they'll still be around. They're not going to be a machine that's going to be obsolete in another right. couple of years. So. Right. So you're, I mean, you're talking yeah. about you needing volunteers and some fabric, but you want some more children fabrics. too. More children, yes, yeah, and yeah. Um, certainly if there's another school out there that really would like to see this kind of uh, come to their school, we'll be happy to kind of look at that as well so they can reach out to me as well. Oh, that's awesome. It's yeah. Just, it's such a, uh, really a neat skill, you know, and, and you're, you're learning how to make a pillowcase right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can further this. You can start making quilts. You can start making your own clothes. You can make wedding dresses, prom dresses, all that sort of stuff. And when you see what you've made in front of you, what, yeah. you, what you can do, you know. Yeah, our teacher, Faye Hemp, who's uh, who's fantastic at it has taught kids for 15 years so mm -hmm. she knows what she's doing behind that sewing machine yeah and uh, she has a lot of fun with the kids and I mean it's just fun to watch her but she, she has also said like this isn't just sewing this is fabric art yes. this is creativity this is you Absolutely. know this is their project and they get to create and do what they want to do with it so it's really it, it's multifaceted, if you will. Yeah. And I mean, the kids really, really seem to like it. So. All right. So once again, yeah. how do they get a hold of you? 613-285-4476. And you're located at? 23 Beckwith Street in Smith Falls. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank yeah. you for joining us. Thank you for putting this project together. I'm I think it's thrilled with it. Yeah, this program <laughs> together for our, for our youth too. So thank you. It's a wonderful skill to have. Yeah. And thank you for your support, Kathy. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Yeah.